Pluto, positioned at the farthest edges of our solar system, resides within the Kuiper Belt, a vast expanse of icy celestial bodies and space rocks beyond Neptune. Once hailed as the ninth planet, Pluto derives its name from the Roman god of the underworld. However, in 2006, a pivotal moment in cosmic history saw Pluto reclassified, marking an evolution in our understanding of the universe. Our current view of the solar system reflects a complex tapestry of celestial objects, including asteroids, minor planets, and just eight traditional planets. Over centuries of astronomical observation and study, humanity's perception of these bodies has deepened. We've learned about their structures, behaviors, and possible actions, all of which have refined our picture of the galactic environment. Yet, even with our growing knowledge, the mysteries of the cosmos continue to captivate us, inspiring further exploration. Instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope are poised to reveal more about Pluto and other enigmatic objects. Despite its small size and eccentric orbit, Pluto holds a special place in the hearts of many. Its reclassification sparked public debate, underscoring the emotional connection people felt toward this distant object. Scientifically, though, for an object to be classified as a planet, it must meet three criteria. Orbiting the Sun, possessing enough mass to form a nearly round shape, and clearing its orbital path of debris. Pluto failed the last of these, leading to its demotion. The definition of a planet has evolved over time. Originally, the term encompassed any large celestial body visible in the sky, including moons and asteroids. Pluto's discovery in 1930 by American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh generated excitement, but subsequent discoveries of similar-sized objects in the Kuiper Belt raised doubts about its planetary status. This debate intensified with Professor Mike Brown's discovery of Eris, a Kuiper Belt object comparable to Pluto in size, further complicating the planet definition. Ultimately, during the International Astronomical Union, IAU, meeting in Prague in 2006, Pluto was officially reclassified as a dwarf planet. This redefinition of Pluto reflects the dynamic nature of scientific understanding and the ongoing pursuit of clarity in the vast universe. After thorough debate, a revised definition of a planet was proposed and voted on during the August IAU meeting. The body responsible for naming celestial objects and defining astronomical terms redefined the criteria for a planet during this pivotal meeting. This new definition encompassed both Pluto and Eris, marking a shift from the traditional understanding of what constitutes a planet and reflecting a more nuanced view of celestial bodies. Eris, previously known as 2003 UB313 and nicknamed Xena, was renamed after the Greek goddess of discord, symbolizing the debates and controversies surrounding its classification. Mike Brown, a planetary scientist at Caltech whose work was instrumental in Pluto's reclassification, earned widespread recognition, even being dubbed the Pluto Killer on social media. The reclassification of Pluto and Eris prompted revisions in educational materials, including textbooks and curriculum standards, to reflect their new status as dwarf planets. However, not all scientists immediately accepted the IAU's definition. Some planetary scientists, especially those studying Pluto and similar objects, raised concerns about the new criteria, sparking ongoing debates within the field of planetary science. These discussions extended beyond scientific circles, entering the public sphere and prompting questions about the challenges of precise classification and the impact of renaming long-established astronomical terms. Despite the controversy, scientific exploration continued. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft conducted a historic flyby of Pluto, providing unprecedented insights into this distant world. The mission revealed a geologically active dwarf planet, featuring nitrogen ice plains and a prominent heart-shaped region that captured the public's imagination. These discoveries underscored the complexity and diversity of worlds beyond Earth. As New Horizons traveled through space at an incredible speed of 32,300 miles per hour, it captured detailed images of Pluto's near side during its closest approach. However, due to the spacecraft's trajectory and the position of the Sun, Pluto's far side, often called the dark side, remained largely hidden. Analysts meticulously examined the images taken prior to the flyby to gain insights into this mysterious region. Despite the challenges of limited data, the images provided exceptional detail, allowing scientists to observe surface features as small as one mile across. The clarity of the images captured by New Horizons far exceeded previous observations, including those from the Hubble Space Telescope, which orbits Earth. These new images have offered fresh perspectives on Pluto's dynamic nature, with scientists investigating features such as a possible subsurface ocean and surface processes. 
Recent discoveries, like the presence of ammonia on Pluto's surface and intriguing ice formations, continue to reveal the complexity of this distant world. Richard Binzel, a planetary scientist involved in the New Horizons mission, described Pluto as the gift that keeps on giving, as it constantly surprises researchers with its intricacy. Before the New Horizons mission, the Hubble Space Telescope provided the most detailed images of Pluto, revealing distinct surface features. However, New Horizons delivered essential close-up views of Pluto's landscape, including the striking heart-shaped region and the vast frozen plain known as Sputnik Planitia. The unusual arrangement of Sputnik Planitia, along with Pluto's largest moon, Charon, has sparked speculation about its formation, with some scientists theorizing the involvement of a subsurface ocean influencing its surface features. The presence of ammonia in the ice covering Sputnik Planitia suggests ongoing geological activity beneath the surface, indicating a dynamic and evolving world. As scientists continue to analyze the data from New Horizons, they are uncovering new insights into Pluto's intricate and changing nature, expanding possibilities for future exploration. The varied landscape on Pluto's far side, with its slopes, depressions, and fields, bears similarities to features observed on other celestial bodies with subsurface oceans. While much of Pluto's far side remains hidden, scientists eagerly anticipate future missions that will allow for a closer examination. The observed irregularities have fueled hypotheses about Pluto's geological history and the role of its subsurface ocean in shaping its surface.